<laughs> hey, Trill Talks, you know that, man. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, God of East Texas in the building. Oh, man, this dude's so you never know shooting it. shots, man. You know? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. We got a special guest in here today, man. This Show guy, Diddy in the building. Listen, man, this dude don't really need an introduction because he be causing a lot of ruckus. You know hey, what man. I'm saying? This you dude, know what it is, man. Tripping. Say, man, this guy here got the city on fire. People don't really like a lot of sometimes what he be mm -hmm. putting out. Some people agree, some people don't. Some people agree to disagree. The boy got this gatekeeper list. This, not only that. This is Big D, the mogul, man. Mogul Media CEO. You know it, man. A.K.A. Suge Diddy. A.K.A. Dear Heavenly Father. A.K.A. The God of East Texas. You feel me? Because my daddy from Nacogdoches. <laughs> Yeah. That's your daddy, but not you. you know what I'm saying? I told Trill Talk. I said you the need father, to be son, up here. The Holy Spirit. That's my <laughs> daddy, me, and my son. Yeah. Hey, Trill Talk. You know that, man. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, God of East Texas, in the building. Oh man, this dude so called bitch know shooting it. shots, man. You know what I'm saying, Smoothie P? <laughs> you welcome. I blessed you, my, oh, bro, wow. my son. Oh, whoa, <laughs> you know, man. God of East Texas. Who else out there? Whoa, now you don't even know who uh -huh. out there. The last time I was there was only two horses. Oh, and you two crazy, people. man? I ain't been to play with hey, you today. Trill Talk Say and Smoothie P. And then he moved here. Y'all moved here. So now it's only Trill Talk. Ah, oh, this dude here, man. He's swaying, ain't he? <laughs> man, East Texas, man. Y'all hear him, man. Hey, Stand up, man. Texas. I want everybody to get in the comments because this nigga tripping right here. I love I want, East I want you to bust at you know, him. Say, hey, 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 hey. hey. East Texas. A lot of talent. I'm from out of East Texas. You know, my, like I said, my daddy from Nacogdoches. So, you know, if it wasn't for him, my big mama hey, from Nacogdoches. Have you ever been to Nacogdoches? No. Nah. He don't Twice. know nothing. <laughs> if Twice. I would have known my daddy, you said, hey, I would have been there more often. <laughs> man, so how you been, man? Hey, man, I'm good, man. You know, bless and highly favored. White Jesus is moving. Oh, this dude, I can't do this, man. So, man, I, I got to ask you about, I seen something, I don't know if it was real or fake, man. Mm -hmm. I seen Solo Lucci walk off the set, man, mm -hmm. to be yeah. honest with you. I didn't know if it was real or uh, I just want to talk about that for a he's second. Like, this ain't real. I said this, this ain't, ain't real, man. One hundred percent real. So what happened? So you know it's the end of the interview. Okay. Um, so by this time, you know my great interview. Y'all go check that out. My interview with Solo Lucci. Great interview. You know, but my Solo Lucci man, he do his thing. He had his Hennessy there. He, you know, getting his drink on. And you know, I brought up a you know my interview I did here with Charleston. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I was like, you know, I was trying to get another interview with Charleston, and Charleston was like, yeah, nigga, you don't believe in God. Say, say, yeah, nigga, I ain't doing no interview with no nigga, nigga. That don't believe in God, nigga. You too old to now know what you believe in. So, you know, I was telling them that story, <laughs> and then somehow we end up getting into this God talk. And, you know what I'm saying? He said God is bigger than all of that, whatever all of that is, and I just said, I don't know. I just feel like in, in the world, it's, I said, I don't know. He said, why not? I said, just too much confusion. A lot of killings has happened in the name of God. And so I don't know. And he said, nigga, you don't believe in God. Nigga, I'm out. I'm, I, I agree with Charleston White. Nigga, I'm out. And he grabbed the shit and dipped. I was surprised. I thought he was playing, so I'm laughing. He said, nigga, cut my mic off. Hey, uh, Walt like Jordan, don't call me for no shit like this no more. Wow. I need wow. a shot. He <laughs> grabbed his Hennessy bottle. He was out. Hey, this shit happened. Man, bro. I love Solo Lucci, man. His I, energy, I bro. Bro, this I nigga came you. over here. We had such a good time, nigga. That nigga, that nigga yeah. did a whole concert his in his own. Hey. Is hey, he was passionate on that drink. Regardless, he was passionate about his guy. Like that nigga was mad. Like he walked out the room. I'm like, damn, I, I can't get no picture. What would Jesus do? Ah. Oh. Oh, you tripping? <laughs> what yeah. Jesus did. But we took the picture. We was cool. You know, he came but back. You know, he's like, lucky because you have some people who actually ask that question before they do anything. Because I have friends who, even before they go to a doctor, before they go anywhere, they ask, "Okay, does this person believe in God?" And if they don't, they won't go. Yeah, I think that's crazy. Well, uh, let me say this to you on. Let me say this on air, and mm -hmm. we're not gonna go too deep in because this is my show. Yo, you got so it. We're not gonna go. <laughs> you got it. But I don't think I'm gonna say is I'll say it like this. I'm the type of person, I meet everybody where they at. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't put nobody in no box. You might feel a certain way right now. That doesn't mean you're going to feel a certain way later on. That go mm -hmm. for each person. That's fair. So I don't, never, I don't ever count nobody out or tell nobody what they should do or what they shouldn't do as they go through their evolution. Mm. That's how I feel about it. Gotcha. And so that keeps me in a place where I'm able to communicate and deal with everybody where they're at. 
And that's that's one hundred. That's, that's, that's good. That's a, that that shows a lot of maturity for you and your faith. Because I mean, Christians are taught to spread the word of Jesus. And if nobody listened to you, then you if the person you talk to don't listen to you, shake the sandals off your, the sand off the sand off the sandals of your feet. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like listen to me. If you don't, then you're a bad person. Let me disregard you. And that's how Christians is like. I can tell you about Jesus all the time, but if I tell you, hey, I don't really subscribe to the Bible of Jesus. I become an evil person, a person without ethics, a person without morals, and you're taught to throw me aside. If you go look at my comments, it shows you, it, it gives you a good snapshot of what Christianity teaches people. Um, the the I mean, good for you walking out. He's evil, and when the devil says such and such and such, you run away. I'm like, this is, well, it's, I, it's, I'm just saying the theology that's being taught. That's the <laughs> way that, that people that are are... You got babes. You got people on different levels. You got so so you can't really just because people say certain things and just because comments come a certain way doesn't mean that depict what's the truth. I'll say that you that everybody's in their own situation on their own level. And at the end of the day, if those the people that attacked you or whatever, I can't say that I agree with what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to even play that game. I still say that there's levels. To this, you know, but they exactly. cuss when they say it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's cool. There's yeah. levels, man. I, like I said, I used to be one of those conservative and then evangelical, you no know, Christian type. So I mean, I understand. That's why I kind of walk with that kind of that empathy because I understand. But shoot, kind of walking away from it, I feel like the freest I ever been in my life. I felt like I walked away from a cult. At, well, that's because of probably what you was into. I ain't gonna go there with you because cool. I mean, because at the end of the day, like I said, different groups of people do different things to influence different people in different ways. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.